Okay, so this is uh, VEX2 All Stars 92972 New World Record. So, why am I doing post commentary? Well, there are two people I am racing against right now it's Daedalus and yet another gamer. And they both either do post commentaries or they comment live. And my videos are always uh, bland, uh, it's a run, and that's it. So I decided let's do this. Hopefully that will make this video a bit more interesting. Yes. Go in, going into Act 1. I actually like Act 1. It has uh, no cycles and the time depends only on the timing and how good you jump. So yeah, it's purely a speedrunning level. And now I have to make a, a decision of what to do. I can uh, stay at all stars and try to lower the record even more. I can move to any percent or I can do both. Most likely both. Yeah. Even though I doubt that I will beat 629 by Daedalus, it was insane because any percent really isn't a very easy category and somehow he did it all with no mistakes. Yes, you can save a second or so in Act 4, but come on. Also, I reset a lot in Act 2 because of not baking that fast cycle. To do it, you have to jump on that trampoline at a very specific time, this one. And I like to jump too early and fail. Well, uh, I didn't fail on this attempt. That's not nice. Okay. Uh, act 3. Oh man, Act 3, my first mistake of the run. It was so dumb and it cost around uh, 5 seconds. Yes. I just uh, didn't wall jump instantly and didn't grab the ledge. So, yeah, and after it, I was like, well, okay, I have to reset now, but for some reason, I didn't. Right there. Yeah, so, I didn't reset. I just kept playing and I'm glad I did. Also, Daedalus, I have a question for you. In N% Act 8, uh, when you pull the second lever, you somehow use reset buffer to change uh, moving platform's position or something. How do you do it? Um, I tried, but it doesn't work. Maybe I do it wrong. So, if you can, please uh, tell me how to do it in the comments. Thanks. Act 4 was kinda good, I guess. I saved a bit of time, but nothing too special. Yes, so... Also, there's a new strat in Act 5. If you can call it a new strat. Probably not. You just... Uh, with a good timing, if you die early, then you can make a faster cycle that saves uh, one or two seconds, something like that. Yes. So there it is, Act 5. Starts off pretty normal. Also, do you know what I like to do while waiting for the ice to melt? This. Yes, it's kind of fun. Well, it's definitely more interesting than just standing in place. That's something. Yeah. So, you pick the star at a good time, then die on low 28 seconds. Then you go into this cycle. Also, uh, you don't need that wall to slow yourself down. You can just fall. Here I failed to save a platform for myself, but I still survived. That's neat. Yes. I saved around 2 seconds. It's nice. Okay, X6. X6 was normal. I didn't save or lose time. I could save a uh, half second or something. Oh man, don't you like it when you're on a good run and suddenly a YouTube notification pops in. I don't even like that channel uh, that much. I just uh, get notified, that's it. Also, I was concentrated 
and I put in tiny box. So you will see it uh, for all the run. Congratulations me. I could save around half a second but I didn't because I decided to play safe. Well that's not big of a deal. Yes. Also I found an easier way to do fast strat in X7. So normally you pick the star, then you uh, release yourself from the square wall onto the right wall <coughs> and then after some time uh, release from it uh, and hopefully land on the square below. But uh, that can go wrong uh, very easily. So uh, a new way is to uh, instantly grab the star, instantly release uh, yourself from the square wall, then fall for a bit and then uh, wall jump from the right wall. Yeah. I, I messed up this time, but uh, believe me, it's easier than the earlier strats. So here it goes, uh, you jump, then wait for a bit, then release yourself, release yourself again, and wall jump. So I thought that maybe I am not left enough and that blade will catch up to me, so I decided to go to right and uh, yeah and failed so with us i had a run that went all the way to the act date and beyond but not into act 9 i warped out of act 8 too quickly and uh, that didn't count as beating it so yeah that, that was sad 9 to 1 9 isn't very good time uh, it has at least 10 seconds to save and this probably won't stand uh, number one for too long, maybe a week or so. Uh, so yes, then the water section, I decided to do it safe instead of swimming in the middle, just uh, waiting for a second or something. Yes, that's not big of a deal. I still ended up uh, saving time. So I had another one. It went all the way to vexation, and when I got there. Uh, I was uh, four and a half seconds ahead, so the chances uh, for a PB were good, but uh, it was a big fail. I actually always have problems with fixation. Uh, I think I could uh, do a minute uh, 15 seconds, something like that, but my best split on fixation is uh, 1 minute 17 seconds. I always screw up something, uh, most likely that uh, wall jump on haha uh, blocks yes act 9 act 9 was uh, good i guess uh, there wasn't any time to save and i didn't lose time so yes good so vexation is scary and i was scared by the time i got there and the pressure was enormous you know it always is when you're at the, run at the end of the run well, it uh, turned out to be pretty good. Uh, the beginning of fixation was uh, okay, the middle was okay, and the ending was almost okay. Yep. And there goes another notification from Steam. That guy, Quidro, is my classmate, by the way. This took me 593 attempts. Come on, it's not even that good. Why? So. Here goes the hardest part of the vexation. And yes, so this is easy, and I think uh, until that wall jump is also easy. There it goes. So I was lucky and I got it first first attempt, and then I could make the fast cycle, grab the star early. I didn't. But uh, it was still a good fixation. It actually almost a gold split. Only missed it by six milliseconds. So yes, that's uh, Vexu All Stars New World Record 92972. And thanks for watching.